John McLaughlin has taken jazz fusion into weird and wonderful places. And the British guitarist is returning to his 1970s roots by recording a new Shakti album. That's the legendary band he led alongside Indian violin, percussion and gutton players. But the ever prolific musician is now 80 years old and I caught up with him at the Istanbul Jazz Festival and asked, could retirement be on the horizon? My life has been dedicated to music since I was very young. So music is, is life. It's part, it's, yes, it's the way I function. It's, it's like eating. Uh, if I, I have to eat to survive and I have to play music to survive also, but survive in, inside, if you know what I mean. I know at some point uh, will arrive when my hands say, sorry, Johnny boy, but uh, uh, we can't go anymore. And that, at that point, okay, I shall say, okay, I understand that. And the guitar will go under the bed and <laughs> that will be that. But until then, uh, because musically, I've never felt better. And to, especially now, after two and a half years of COVID, we were all in forced retirement, so to be able to come out and play a concert in front of people again, because it's one thing to play at home, it's one thing to play in the studio, but to play in a place where there are people listening, this is the ultimate for a musician, it's the best. So I'm thrilled to be here, especially in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. You said that music is just a way of life for you and how you experience existence is, is what I gathered from what you said. But then obviously the way we live, the way everyone lives is sometimes it includes comfort zones and sometimes, you know, it, the relationship with uh, our lives, it kind of fluctuates. So I wonder, I mean, a legend like you, your relationship to music, it is true, you are a true legend. Your relationship no, to music, how does, I, that, how does that work? I mean, someone like can you. Can we forget that word, legend? I'm not dead yet, you know. <laughs> a living legend, <laughs> would that work? No, uh, I don't want to be a legend. Okay. <laughs> it sounds silly to me. How but, does it make but, you feel? Uh, no, I, it's very flattering, but, uh, but uh, I, I, I don't see it like that. But uh, your question is actually what precisely? you're looking for, uh, is there some conflict between my dedication in music and my life? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely <laughs> not. No, because, in, because what in music or in life, we are all looking for harmony. We want to live harmoniously with the people around us. So, so and the only way we can live harmoniously is we live with love. If, and, and, and you cannot play music if you don't have a heart of love. You cannot. If you go to the stage angry and play your instrument, within 30 seconds, you can't remember why you are angry. Because music is like that. Music is, is the language, really, of the, the heart of humanity. Because everybody understands. Everybody feels the music. They don't understand. I don't speak Turkish. Some people don't speak English, but they listen to music tonight, for example, and they will feel the human heart of me and the musicians I'm playing with. And this is, this is everything to me. So when I go to a concert, any kind of concert, classical, jazz, even pop, whatever, I want to feel the the emotions of that person. I want them actually to sweep me away in their world. That's what I want. So if I can sweep some people away tonight, I will be very happy. Well, I'm sure you will be able to do that. Now you asked me to forget about the word legend, but I will have to remind you that um, so many people called you the best guitarist alive or the world's best guitarist. So many people. I wonder how that makes you feel or I mean it's probably a little too tricky uh, but do you agree with them? <laughs> it's, it's, it's flattery. It's flattery isn't it? It's very sweet of people to say that, to think it. I don't take it seriously because, because uh, how can one be the best in music? You know, it, it, 
it's like, for example, you look at two great pianists like um, let's see, Radu Lupu and um, uh, another great pianist, um, Mari Paraya. Both fantastic. I started with piano when I was very young. That's why I still love piano. And and you ask me how can which one is the best? I cannot say it because they are both great. And I know I uh, there are friends, guitar player friends of mine. I think they are great, but they are. And and some people say like Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton's God. Slow hand, Eric. He's, he's God on the guitar, and it's, it's, I'm very happy people feel like that. But it's, it's just their personal preferences, and some people say that, and some very nice get, musicians have said that. But it doesn't, it doesn't contrary me. It, it doesn't, it doesn't. I take it with a pinch of salt. Okay. You know what that means? You should. Yes, I do know what that means, and I do get your point. Yes. Now, um, still, when you look back at your 50-year or 50-plus year career, how do you see it? I mean, the journey from day one to today, do you maybe see it with a sense of pride or appreciation for yourself or empathy, or how, how, how does that work I for you? I see it with absolute gratitude because I feel so lucky, I feel so fortunate. One, to be a musician, to have a, a, a mother who was a musician, because of her, I am a musician. And this, this is a blessing from God. And to, so to be a musician is, I think, one of the greatest privileges in, to, in humanity. That said, you have to be, um, there's a French word, dean. You need to be dean, worthy of to be a musician. And the only way you can be worthy is if you dedicate your life. So Which I you dedicated did. my life. And, and when you, the thing about music is if you give to music, music gives so much more back to the musician. Music has given me so much. I could even say music saved me in that sense of the word. From what? Saved me. You know, when you're saved, you know. The but what is the people, alternative? What could have happened and it saved you? I don't know. I might be dead already. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it saved me. It, 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 music, because of my dedication, it created a marvelous life for me. I am full of gratitude to all the musicians I've had the opportunity to work with, and I still am today. I, I am only gratitude. I really am. That's because that's... I'm overwhelmed sometimes with the blessings I have. Great. Now, if you could go back and send a message to your 20-year-old self, what would you say? To work. Even Dedi harder. Dedicate your life. If you want, if you want to be a musician, then be a musician. But don't 50-50, you know. You have to you have to work hard. You know there's a proverb, a very well-known proverb of music. Uh, genius is one percent inspiration and ninety-nine percent perspiration. Yeah. You get that Absolutely. It's the formula. And this yeah, because it's 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 but after a while the work that we put into music, it's not work. It's 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 the love that you that you have for the music, for your instrument and the passion that you have. Because if you don't have the passion for the music then you better to become a lawyer or an accountant or something. But, but uh, they have to, you have, the, the passion is, it's like the gas in the car. If you don't have any gas in the car, then you run out, you run out. And the passion will keep you going because passion is, it's a form of love, dedication to your instrument, to music, to life, isn't it? 
And you always had that passion that in you. I always had it. I still have it. And I shall probably go to heaven with it. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, um, we don't have much time left. So um, I just want to ask you about, I mean, it's probably another way of asking the question that I just asked, but anything you would have changed in your career path? No, nothing. Or any moment, perhaps from your earlier days where you felt like less than the bright shining star no, you are, any no, failure I story? I would not change an atom. I wouldn't change an atom because it all conspired to bring me to where I am today and I'm such a fortunate person because I'm still here I'm alive I'm going to play tonight that's everything to me it's wonderful anyway I'm very happy to have the chance to speak to you and tell you about what I'm doing and how I feel about what I'm doing and I hope you find it interesting well, I found it very interesting and I'm honored to be able to talk to you. Thanks so much, John McLaughlin. It was very good to have you, you today on Showcase. Thank you.